Hi everybody, this is Miss Ching and Miss Padmini with the admirable help of Mr. Stephen. And we're going to talk about another fact family for 10. This time we need to know about something called digit, um, which is the number that is a digit can go from 0 all the way to 9. It can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. But a digit cannot be 10, because to write the number 10, you need two separate numerals, a 1 and a 0. And a digit can have only one numeral. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are digits. Do you dig it? And when we give out these 10, guess what, cookies, to our two kids, each of them can only get a digit of cookies. It cannot get 10. It can get 0 all the way through 9, but not 10. So we're going to give out these 10 cookies to these two kids, and we're going to start with, why don't we give one kid as many as we can, okay? Can we give the kid one? Yes. Let's give one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now the next one would be 10. Can we give 10? No, because 10 is not a single digit. So that last cookie has to go to the other kid. So to give out these 10 cookies, kid one has nine, kid two has one. You might think that that's not fair, but it's going to change eventually. So let's write down our 10 fact. There's the number 10. You can divide the 10 as nine, and one. So how many cookies altogether? 10. Kid one has nine, kid two has one. Now let's go ahead and write it out. Let's put down that nine plus one equals 10. Let's move a cookie. Let's move a cookie over and we now have Kid one has eight cookies. Kid two has two cookies. Let's write down our 10 fact of eight cookies for kid one plus two cookies for kid two. And the total is still 10. Okay, let's continue down the path and move one more cookie. And now you have seven cookies for kid one, three for kid two, and seven plus three equals, still the same total, it's gonna be seven plus three is 10. Let's keep distributing those cookies one more over to kid number two, and we have how many for kid one? Six cookies and four cookies for kid two. So six, plus three, four, sorry, <laughs> equals 10. Okay, one more move. Let's move one more cookie over. I wonder if this time they're gonna be equal to each other. The first kid has how many cookies? Five cookies. Kid two has how many cookies? Five cookies. Total is still 10. Let's write it down. Five plus five equals 10. Now, we're going to do a little more moving, but this time we won't write down the fact. Let's move one more cookie over to kid two. This time, kid one has four, kid two has six, which is the same as if kid one had six and kid two has four, which you can see, kid one has six, Kid two has four, total is 10, 
And if kid one had the four and the kid two had the six, guess what? It would still be the total of 10 cookies. So we won't write it down again. It's six plus four equals 10. Four plus six equals 10. Some people call that commutative property. Can you say commutative property? Now let's move one more cookie. You have three for the first kid, seven for the second kid. Where does it show up where seven and three occur? Ah, there you have it. Seven for the first kid, three for the second kid is 10. And three for the first and seven for the second is also 10 because of, as you know, commutative property. Let's move one more. And you have two and eight. And on the board you have eight and two. And let's move one more. And we have one for the first kid and nine for the second kid. And it is the same as nine for the first kid and one for the second kid. And the total is 10. Now, can we move one more cookie to kid number two? If we're working with digits, the highest number you can have for anybody is nine. So we cannot move one more cookie over. That's all of the ways you can divide up 10 cookies between two kids. Nine and one or one and nine, eight and two or two and eight, seven and three or three and seven, six and four or four and six, or five and five, which even if you switch them, it's still five and five. Thank you very much, everybody. This is Ms. Sheeng and Ms. Padmini with the admirable help of Mr. Steven, and that was your teachable moment.